You see, water is very essential to everyday life. And right now, I'm in a university where they do not have any water. And this particular well has a story that female students fell in and died. So the university authorities had to put a barricade to prevent students from using wells. To understand the story better, I'll have to take you inside this school, which is actually my alma mater. Follow me while I tell you the story of Ambusali University, Ekoma. You have heard that they said which is holding water in water in Nepal, Mabi. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've heard all those rainmakers. <laughs> I, I, I swear, Abi. Uh, how, what it actually looks, it looks mysterious. Like that, there's no water, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they are blowing the rain. Okay, so firstly, Ambusali was a former governor of the then Bende State, so this school was named right after him. It's located in Ekboma in Edo State, and the tribe that live here are the Eastern people. But how this gigantic university survives without water is very mysterious. This is a regular day of walking inside the school and another beautiful day for you to hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed the story so far. On a regular day, my camera used to catch things and it caught somebody leaving the school gate a few seconds ago so I'm going to take you all the way back. Yeah, she's an indigenous of this community and they literally almost live among students. So, I want you that is watching to hear from the student yourself about how water is in the hostel. Going to the hostel, I took this forest-like bush path where we see more indigenous who are actually farmers. Some eventually become cleaners in the school hostels. <laughs> And how students get water is that water is supplied to them by the school, right? How far? Uh, what level are you? I'm 400 level. 400 level. How long have you been in the hostel? Oh, 25 years now. What, what course are you doing? Four years course. Four years yeah, course. The strike okay, the okay, okay, okay. Extra, extra. Yeah. yeah. Your name is Riley. Yeah. Okay, so what level are you? 200 level. Okay, so how long have you been in the hostel? October last year. I saw you came to fetch water. Mm -hmm. I was asking before, I used to drink the water. Have you drank it before? No, no, no. One cup? No, no, no. In the night? No, no, no. Is that one, what is one of the reasons you are seeing you still? Yeah, at least better in the day. Most times they don't give us water, but still at least better because we have well land. There are times there are no water? There are times there are no water. But we have well and other stuff, so always there is no water, we will see from the well. So it's still better than off in some ways. Have you ever drank this water in this, this tank? Yeah, I think there was a time where it choked me out. <laughs> it choked you. Do you realize that this tank is open? Drink it. Yeah, I realize what. What 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 would man do? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's what you think. Right. So you prefer those. You prefer the water. You prefer that there's water here than in, or, than off campus. Yes, it's over here. Do you think other other students will drink the water? No, no. They don't drink it. Just once in a while. Like when I told someone that, ah, see where see see the way the thing do me, I can't go drink water. People like, ah, no, don't do it again. No. <laughs> So this has practically been where we lived for four years and it's very intriguing because these tanks were open. They open for most of it and I don't know how I was able to drink this water. I drank this water for four years and I was not sick. I can still drink it now, but I don't want to try it. I'm, I cannot, I don't want to gamble with my life. <laughs> okay, okay, let me just add that the reason you cannot drink this water is because they are not from boreholes. So where are they actually from? What do you have to say water, about water in Epoma? I think um, for the fact that um, pumping machines are scarce in Ekboma, um, it's really an issue. And where the uh, most most of the time where we get our water is from dam. Okay. It's from the dam. Like for an, an instance, um, the water we get for in our hostel, mm. our tanks, they are from dams. How do you know it's from dam? Oh, yeah. Oh, you study engineering, Abi? Yeah, I study okay. engineering. Okay. Yeah, okay. Electrical engineering to be precise. What is gas off campus? Yes, How much do you pay for a gallon? Uh, 100 naira, if I recall, yes. For 20 liters? Yeah, 20. That yellow jerry can, 20, 25. Yeah? 25 liters, I think. 25, I think. For 100 naira for one? Yes, 100 naira. Some so, space in my room say 120. If... What of two? Two. Oh, that will make like 200. Okay, they just do 2,150. I doubt that because uh, living off campus is, is tougher, you know? Okay, so most times, because of the fact that there's no much water, people off campus have wells, and if you are in a very, very, very flamboyant house that can actually afford you, they have wells and they have tanks. Do you understand? So you basically, you take your water from the well. Okay, so there's water. 
So this is what ev virtually everybody in Epoma gets to suffer. But wells are not safe at all, especially in a student environment. Hence why some students actually died some 10, 13 years back. We needed the full story, so we asked. Did you hear the story of that that way close in front of a um, Kudi rat that yeah, people yeah, fell yeah. inside? I saw one today. Can you just give us a rundown of the story? I don't know. I just ate some just uh, standing on top of the well and suddenly it just collapsed. Yeah. Oh. And in a quest for the full story, I sought for an old timer who would actually get to tell us. But firstly, I met my friend Vincent. So this is my friend Vincent, he's a graduate architect and he's doing his master's in architecture. So Vincent, how have you been? I'm fine. He's an architect, so contrary to popular belief that witches are the one holding the water here, Vincent, what do you think? No, witches don't hold water in Ekuma. Actually, Ekuma has a low water table. That is, the point at which you can find water under the ground is very low. Although Ekuma has a considerably large amount of rainfall but we experience scarcity of water to some extent because of the low water table so you are saying that it's not like witches hold the water table no just but nature. the fact that many boroughs have been dug and they not see water is funny because very so far here but if you live outside ekoma and maybe to other neighboring uh, villages you are going to see water you know Abby? that's true so why is ekoma's own different like i said the water table is very low so you might sink a borehole and yet not find water because you do not get to the point where water is available. And to do that in this area is going to cost a very large amount of money. Like how much? And I can't really give a figure now, but it's going to be very expensive. Even governments will not want to do such. Are you serious? Yes. It's as expensive as a road. Yeah. There's, there's actually an area in Epoma called Bow Avenue. At Bow Avenue, you have several boreholes that have been sunk by the government, but they are not working because the water table is low. So we met somebody that could tell us the, the story. The well at the back of Kudirato still. You said um, two people fell inside. No, five. Okay, five. Why three or three dead? Three, three was dead. Three, then. three died. Yes, they died in yes, then. On the spot? Yes. So they covered the well immediately? Yes, covered water back the well because of this. For further so after my After my trip to after my trip to nine. Yes. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Were they, were, they, were they able to get them out? Yes. All of them? Yes. Three had already died? Or yes. Two? Three. I think it were collapse. The up? And they were standing on top? Yes. In the morning. Was it that period that they closed all the well in Epoma? All the well in hostel? After the incident, they closed all the well in hostel. Then they now said doing borehole. School go and strive for like six months. Eh? Because of that incident? Yes. Do you know show me time? We don't have water in Epoma. Oh, 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 I have to say. I think Ekoma is on a hill. Okay. Something like that. If you are coming from Benin, you will notice that um, there is this. It's just as if you are ascending. Okay. Or something like that. Yes. Yeah, so I think Ekoma is on a hill. People believe in now. Now we stay hold the water. I got no kind of one. You have heard that they said which is hold the water in water in Nepal, maybe. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've heard all those rainmakers. <laughs> as, as I said, uh, how what it actually looks, it looks mysterious. Like that, there's no water, <laughs> right? And they are blowing the rain. Well, I feel, I feel, I feel. You know, most of these people they are farmers. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes they will want to keep the rain for a particular time okay. for it to fall. But you see, when they keep this rain. At the time it starts falling, many pools start falling down, many things. <laughs> and sometimes, come closer a bit. Sometimes, yeah, it's where students stay. So you see all these funny things like nail is there. It's what they used to do their, do their things and stuff. So living in the school hostel is so much fun. I miss the water challenge. And you see, you see, this particular hostel is called Kudi Route, where the girls actually died. And this monument in front it's another story all together it was raised up because students were killed by courtes right in the hostel but then you need to subscribe to get to watch that all right bye see ya Mwah.